Hi, Martin Scherer here. Uh, we're at Tesseract Restoration Studios, and we are about to start a new job. This is a statue which belongs to the California State Parks uh, in Benicia, California. Her name is Uriella. She's a 19th century figurine, and um, she's got a broken arm that we need to repair. It's broken off at the elbow. So we'll probably put an armature in here or something to strengthen this. This arm's going back on here. And <clears throat> she also has on her left hand four broken missing fingers. So uh, I've got to recreate these. I'm not exactly sure of the hand position, but I think I can uh, figure it out from a, something close to what it was, judging from what's left of the stumps of the fingers. So um, I thought this would be an interesting job to show the restoration of. So this is going to be our, our new project. So, I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start here. First thing I'm going to do is put this arm on. I've decided there's enough surface area here that I can glue this. It'll be just stronger without the... I don't need to put an armature in here because I'm going to be drilling into the wall and that's not going to work for me. It's just... If this was a solid piece that would be better but this is going to be plenty strong it's like 3200 psi epoxy i'm using here you know i don't think i'm gonna have a ton and a half of pressure pushing down on this one so that should be plenty so i'll get the epoxy in there stuck very good here and then I can use the tape to pull it together nice and tight now there's phase one of this repair We'll come back uh, tomorrow and fill in this line with all the chips and stuff in it. And then uh, after that, we address the uh, building the fingers on the left hand. And the tape's coming off. The repair. 
repair we did yesterday. And then we'll fill this crack line where this came together. Fill those chips along this crack line and then uh, smooth that out. And then this arm will be ready for decoration. All right, now we're going to put some fill in there in this repair line. the next day and I'm going to file down this fill I put in here yesterday. Let's move it out and we'll see how that looks and if it needs another round of slightly finer fills we'll do that. I think it will. fills on here. First we do a rough fill, get in the big empty the big voids and chips. File it down and get ever smoother until we get this transition nice and smooth to hide all the cracks and chips. So we'll fill this in and uh, come back tomorrow and do what I'm doing now. Meanwhile, today I'm going to go to the other hand and drill for armatures uh, upon which to build my missing fingers. So, I'm going to start drilling holes for uh, armatures. I need to put a wire armature in each one of these fingers and I'll build up around that. Uh, and in the meantime, I have a diamond drill bit here. And we'll start making holes. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue the wire armatures into these finger stumps and I've made up <coughs> excuse me I've made up some very hard epoxy So we'll come back uh, tomorrow when this uh, cures. We'll come back and build up around those wires. So the wires aren't bent in the direction that they're, the fingers are going to go right now. It's just I'm just cementing them in place. The hand is going to the pose of the hand is going to look 
essentially like this. Fairly close to this pose. I've got my armatures in here for the fingers. And uh, right now they're just straight wire. So today I'm going to bend them into the shape they need to be to, for the hand pose. And then uh, I'll trim, I'll bend them and trim the wire. And then we'll start building up on that wire today. We're going to do it a little bit at a time. I just got contacted by the uh, my contact person at the parks. And they tell me they would like to have this statue done in the next 10 days. I think that's doable, uh, but it does put a little time constraint on me. So we're going to get going on this. So what I've done is I've taken from the other hand, I've taken my measurements and I've marked the joints on the wire where it's going to get bent. And so um, we have that to go by. So we'll just start at one end and work our way down. fairly grotesque at the moment but um, this is just a skeleton for what I need and they're a little short because the armature is not going to come to the complete end of the finger so um, there we have it so now I've got to build up around these wires a little bit until we have the entire f the full finger okay now I'm gonna add some fill here and build up these fingers around my armature and normally I build it up bigger than I need it and file and cut and carve down to what I do need uh, but in this case I'm going to have these fingers right next to each other and that's going to be problematic. It's going to be hard to get around them. So I'm going to build this up instead of cutting down to it. So yesterday I put some putty around these wires to build, start building up these fingers. I, and uh, since the wire is really thin, it's hard to put a bunch of stuff on it. So it's nice to build up an initial uh, layer on there that gives me something I can build on. Uh, it's a lot easier to build on this than to try to go for you know a whole finger. So today I'm going to build up a little more and uh, it won't be the full size of the fingers yet, but well on the way to the full size.
an hour uh, it's the next day and I'm still building up these fingers getting close to the final stages of it going to sit here and make you watch this all of this but you get the idea so this is the, I'm going to do this to each of these fingers and then um, the next session will probably be uh, refining the final shape um, we're very close to having my fingers modeled very close so tune in again tomorrow So it is yet again another day, and I'm getting closer and closer to a final round of fills on this hand. I'm using a different, finer putty for this. previous fills being rough fills, just to rough in the shape, and now I'm trying to finalize this, smooth out that rough fill. So, I think that'll do it for today. I'll come back tomorrow and smooth this, and I'll probably do another round of what I'm doing today again. All right, so we've got some things that look like fingers now, pretty much. Uh, I've been filing these down, and uh, I'm just going to take a power tool to them to just speed up the hog out of the major parts before I refine it so a couple of them are a little thick and it's just a lot easier for me right now to take a, a dremel to it and file it down and uh, rather than try to get in there with a, a little file because it's just hard you know it's hard to get a six inch long tool in there uh, a lot of times and uh, I'll use something that's a little smaller to get in into there so that's what I'm going to do right now, and then uh, after that, today, I'll probably do some fine fills on here where you, you probably can't see from uh, the camera, but uh, it's it's a little rough, and so we'll smooth that out, too, with some more fills, and uh, I don't know, a couple more days, maybe, and we'll be ready to put paint on this. So, here we go.
Okay, so um, we have done a bunch of fills and filing, uh, several rounds of that to get my finger shapes. And um, I'm, I'm done to the point where I'm going to now carve in the, uh, the fingernails and there will be a, a couple of little lines where the knuckles are, the, the, the skin folds. So I'm, I'm about to put those in now and so I've measured my nails and I'm going to draw that in here my width just pencil them in and then I'm going to carve these right into this putty so now I got my length So, start a carving. So there's a fingernail. Carved in there. And uh, so now I just need to do three more. Okay. So then I'll probably put uh, some gesso on top of that just to smooth this into transition this into the old original clay body so here is the hand after uh, sculpting the fingernails and the knuckle folds it's hard to see in this image some of the lines but uh, Like fingers with fingernails, and I put a coat of gesso on top of that. So uh, we're now now ready to put some paint on this reconstructed hand. Yesterday I did all the carving and everything that, and then put the fingernails in here and the little lines for the knuckle folds and so now we're going to airbrush some color on this
some paint on this other arm. Okay, so I'm on the back side now and I'll put some paint on this crack here. And it's a matter of finessing this. that I'm using has a bit of a sheen to it and everything on this statue is flat so okay so uh, I've got a, a matte finish in my airbrush I'm just going to take the sheen off of this Okay, so now our Uriella statue is uh, repair is all complete, and we had some damage on uh, a little bit. You couldn't see here this this bracelet was loose. This hand had four missing fingers, uh, and then there was some breakage that happened back here under this under the arm, and uh, she's all in big repair and ready to go back in place. This is a statue for the uh, California State Parks at uh, Benicia. And uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to get their statue back. So this project is all finished and ready to go home now. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like uh, watching these videos please press like comment and share with your friends. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this.